Steve, how closely have you been following the negotiations? Very closely. I've been in a number of the meetings so far, uh, and uh, on top of that, we get regular updates, and everyone's involved and uh, keen on what's going on. How would you feel about the wage rollback of more than 20% that the NHL is asking for? Well, I, I won't get into the specifics of it. We certainly have a number of talks internally on, um, you know, what we want to do. And, and right now we're in a gathering information phase. And, um, you know, that's the important part of things is for us to really understand how uh, any kind of proposal will impact us. And, and, and we'll decide internally and, and let everybody know what we're going to do moving forward, uh, you know, when we come to that conclusion. Sorry about that. Uh, how worried are you about possibly being locked out this fall? Well, I'm not worried about it uh, at the moment. We certainly have a lot of time to get a deal done. Uh, you know, we've been preparing for a while, as uh, has the other side. And, um, you know, it, it's still July here. We, there, there's, there's a lot of time, and, and, and if we have to, we can continue playing under the old rule, uh, you know, if we want. And that's uh, something I think everybody would want is to, you know, business as usual, at least as far as, uh, you know, getting a chance to, to start on time because there's too many uh, fallbacks. There's maybe not too many, but there's plenty of fallbacks. Uh, uh, not uh, forgotten on us uh, that the fans wouldn't have the product and we certainly you know, wouldn't get the chance to play is uh, you know a, a big part of it. Um, I don't know how involved you were the last time around so I'm not sure if you can answer this but can you compare the, the sort of mood of the owners and their attitude from seven years ago to this time around? Do they seem as intractable and uh, determined to, uh, to beat the union I guess is the best way to put it. Well I don't know if I'll comment on you know the emotions or the mood of, of, of somebody else but you know there was a lot of things that are different last time than they are this time one of which uh, you know a year and two years leading up to uh, what ended up being the lockout last time we as players were speaking to folks such as yourselves on the anticipation of it where the you know it's different this time so I think you can draw any kind of conclusion from that as you might uh, what we are working on right now is 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 just basic negotiations, two sides that aren't overly familiar with each other. Obviously, we have a new staff um, and, and they're trying to get a deal done and we're trying to get a deal done and, and, and the mood, uh, you know, every, everyone's been, uh, I, like I say, I won't compare it to last time, but, you know, everything has been cordial to get a deal done and that's uh, the main thing right now is that's what we, what we want to do. What's your personal feeling? The owners seem to think, well, the salary cap's here to stay and that's what we're going to negotiate on. Um, do you think it's worth fighting for a new system, one that might work better? Well, personally, um, I think we can make things work in a number of different systems, but we want to make sure that, uh, you know, our rights are protected for all mm -hmm. the rights that uh, any type of player or parent might want for their child. Um, so I won't get into, and nor have we come back with a proposal as far as, uh, you know, what type of system do we want to work under. Like I said, we're gathering a lot of information now, and, uh, you know, when it's time to, to, to let everybody know, we'll let you guys know. Steve, uh, you see the, the cap goes up to like $70 million. Uh, They're asking for wage rollbacks, and yet you see what the Flyers do with Weber. Does that kind of make you shake your head and say, okay, which side are you guys coming from? Do you want to save money, or they're, just, they're clearly willing to spend it? Yeah, that's a really good question. I think the, um, you know, an important part of where the cap is right now is that revenues have grown and in each are a relationship uh, with each other, and that's something that we wanted and they've agreed to and they wanted uh, since we made the agreement last time. So uh, I won't necessarily speak on what teams, uh, how they're behaving, but I think you can understand that the market is what the market is right now and, and, and players are signing what, you know, the market's calling for. And, and certainly there are deals that have kind of come out of this last lock or this, this last agreement that um, it's just kind of nature of how the cap system is and, and, and what players are going for. So, um, you know, we're all measured against each other. And that's basically how, you know, your performance on the ice uh, typically speaks for, you know, what type of deal you'll sign. And obviously there's some, been some marquee players getting some great deals. And, and, and all I guess I'll really say is that it's just the nature of the, the system that we have. And, and um, you know, players are, are getting what's fair given the situation. You talk about how you guys are feeling each other out still through the negotiations. I mean, how much talk has there been about the momentum you guys have been able to build to get these kind of contracts and not have it shut down again like you guys did seven years ago to make sure that you avoid that? Is, that, is there a lot of talk about that? Yeah, it's an important point because we've always said that we wanted to get a deal done and we want to continue playing on, on exactly, you put it, the momentum that's been gained. And, um, you know, kudos should be given to a lot of uh, people on both sides that the, we've had record revenues growing over the last seven years, and that's 
you know, everybody wants to grow, right? I mean, your business, yeah. our business, everybody, that's just kind of why you do it in a lot of ways on top of having the passion and all of that for whatever, you, you know, your chosen profession is. So, um, yeah, it's certainly, we want to keep going. We want to play. We don't want to uh, to have any hiccups. And uh, like I say, there's still time to, to get through that. If a scenario came to pass, Steve, where you guys could continue playing under similar uh, CBA um I guess the way it's uh, currently put out right now, would you guys be happy playing under a similar uh, collective bargaining agreement? Uh, personally, I would just because, you know, I, I want to play and, and, and I'm not getting any younger and, and all those good things. Uh, you know, collectively, I feel that that's the case, but we haven't really gotten uh, that far yet um, because it's not September 15th or a week or two before or, you know, perhaps three or four days after. Hey guys, we're going to bring in Chris.